Hi, and welcome back to another session of Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. So this week we have Randomonium. It says, an encounter at the crossroads under a mana storm. Choose a class, get random cards. Each turn your card's costs are randomized. So this one's a really random one, so I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect here. Uh, who do I want to be? Hmm. 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 Let's be... Uh, I don't know what I should be. Let's try Warlock. Let's try Warlock. I always like his, his hero power of being able to draw two, but we'll... We'll see how it goes. If anything, you know, there's apparently nothing keeping me from just choosing a new class every time, so... If it doesn't seem like it works out good, I'll try another one. And since it's random, I'm guessing there's a going to be a high percentage of luck involved if I win or not. But, let's see. I really did enjoy the one last week where we got to get two new heroes. That was nice with the robot battle. Gul'dan versus Gerash! Okay, I guess we got a warrior. Ooh, knife juggler, that's nice. What else we get? Oh, and a legendary. You can give, it, give your opponent a mana crystal. Well, I don't really like cards where you give your opponent anything, so... Plus, okay, and it said I believe the costs would be random. Oh! 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 I feel like I'm cheating. So on two one one whelps. I don't know if I should put this down. So he'll get two 1-1 one, one whelps, which means he could just kill this guy the next turn. I, I don't know. We'll just click. Time's up. Let's do this. So there's nothing keeping him from using those whelps to just kill him, which is fine. I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Just uh, see what happens here. <laughs> oh no, he killed me with a slam. So I uh, yeah, we have nowhere to know. Oh, see, like knife juggler costs one now. And this one give a friendly minion plus four plus four until end of turn and it dies horribly. Uh, I don't know if I should play him because they could use, these guys could just kill him. Let's just draw a card since the costs are uh, since the costs are random every turn. It's really to my advantage to have a pile of cards in my hand and then just play ones that are, are nice and cheap. See though. Let's see what we draw here. Let's see. So he only costs two, and he's. I don't know if I want to give my opponent a mana crystal. I could play him. He's a six-four. Let's just play that. We'll play Volcanic Drake. He's a nice, powerful minion. I don't. I don't know if I like that card or not. Gives you a, gives me a plus three plus three, which is really nice. But I really don't like cards where I have to give my opponent a mana crystal. Like I, I don't. I don't know. Huh. Even though it might not be as bad on this one since the costs are random, mana crystal may not do them any good. What now? I the Let's see. What's he do? Uh, whenever you play a one attack minion, give it plus two plus two. Interesting. Destroy a random minion for each player. Oh, we don't want to play him right now. Let's, let's kill him first. Then we'll play Knife Shuggler. Then we'll play the Imp Gang Boss, because he'll get a... hopefully kill somebody. 
Ah, there we go. I'll kill him. And he's a dragon, so he can't slash artificial pact him. Uh, I don't think we want to do any of these cards right now, so we'll just see what happens here. Our board looks nice, but we have nobody to know what he has in his hand, really. Nice, except for it destroys a random minion, so it's not really useful. Oh, Grom for one. Oh, oh, oh. All right then. Two, two, one. Wait. Hmm. No, we need him to die. I gotta decide what I want to do. Uh, however, this minion takes damage, summon a 1 1 imp. So many possibilities. Let's do that. Man, should just play him because it's just an imp I'll lose and he'll lose something. Let's just play him so we can get him out on the board. Oh, and that's an inspire effect. I guess I misread that. Oh. Oh, well, let's just do that then. Deal with that. Cool. Let's say now we got Fell Reaver. Whenever your opponent plays a card, remove the top three cards of your deck. Ooh. Oh, well, I like that one. I'll be out of cards real quick. I'm already drawing with my ability. Let the rattle is draw a card. He's in his. Um, let's do this first. That's interesting. I don't actually have. I don't actually own that card that I just played, and so I didn't realize he would destroy himself. Oh, that's interesting. I don't, I don't own that card. I thought it was just going to destroy one of theirs, and I wouldn't lose anything. So it probably would have been a good idea to play this implosion, so the imps could have been destroyed over and over. Hopefully, instead, I'm almost dead. Oi. Let's see. Boost him to nine. Uh oh well, I might not survive here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm alive. Barely. Hmm. Oh dear. Looks like he's gonna get me. Yep, he got me. I'm a goner. Oh. Well, that didn't go very well. Huh. We're gonna try different one, I think. I didn't really like that hero power with it being so random. Let's try... Try... what? We'll try Druid. Sure. I don't play Druid very often, but hey, right, we'll see what happens here. 
want to play in Paladin, which is one I play a lot, but it seems like summoning a 1 1 isn't very useful with the chance that people could be summoning really powerful cards for nothing. Huh. Another warrior. Sheesh. Let's start a set of heroes remaining health to 15. That's really nice. I don't... Let's get rid of Let's get rid of So, that'd be a nice one to play early if it gets cheap because it sets their hero's health to. Deal five damage or two damage to all minions. That's fine. We'll play the demolisher. Let's hmm. let's do that. Let's just get the demolisher up early. I always like that card because they can't do anything about it. it. Just hits them for two points of damage over and over and over again until they do something about it for for free, pretty much, which is nice. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. He got Bouncing Blade for cheap. Oh. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's hit him in the face. I, uh... Dang, I can't believe he had that, that blade. Oh my. A six, seven. Ouch. I got nothing to counter that. Shuffle this minion into your deck. Oh wow, that's a good one. For only three? Oh, guess we'll play it. That's really powerful. Play a legendary for three, nine, seven, and every time he dies, he'll get shuffled back in my deck and just so he he can just keep coming out over and over. Sheesh. Oh. Your minions cost one? Oh, that's just, that's just cheap. I feel like, I almost feel like I'm cheating now. To play that. Like, I mean, that's, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah, he's leaving because I've got, now I've got three legendaries on the board that I'm paying one for, like, I kind of feel like I'm cheating. As you can see, my druid's a whole level 6 because I never play as druid. <laughs> ah, my paladin's over here, over there at level 30. <laughs> uh, I did get a pack. Yay! That was ridiculous, though. We'll try. We're going to try druid one more time. That was just three legendaries at that point in the game. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So this one's just very random, and it seems like you can be quick, quickly crushed or quickly crush your enemy just based on the very just random nature of it. So I don't know if I like this one or not. Oh, oh, like that one? Why? There's no reason I wouldn't keep keep that one. It's if I can get that Aviana out for cheap, I can just play minions like a like a crazy person because your minions cost one. That's just wow! I feel I kind of feel like I cheated the last game. Yes, I had a bunch of cheap, uh, cheap legendaries. I mean, that one. If you get that one out, I mean, that's ridiculous. You can just spam all these great cards if you have them in your hand. Let's see what happens here, though. Oh, maybe. Opponent's not sure what he's gonna do apparently. Or he left the game, I don't know. Hmm. As you can see up here, normally if they go over a card to look at it, it'll uh 
Oh, there we go. Job's done. I got nothing. I drew her to the flame. So you be a 5 2 minion or a 2 5 minion. A secret. Water elemental. That normally costs 5 or 6, I think. Well, maybe it's not that much, but it costs something. <laughs> Whenever this minion takes damage, add a spare car part card in your hand. Sure, we'll just play everything. Spam the minions! There's really no reason not to play them, because like that mech, it could be really expensive next turn, so pretty much it's, if they're cheap, you play them that turn. <sighs> I don't know what this is. Well, we'll find out. It's secret. I don't know what it is. Let's see if it goes into effect now. No. Okay, I've got give a minion plus one health. Let's go for the attack. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing this will trigger. No? Huh. Thought that was going to trigger that secret. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's that, that one where, uh, Right near the end, when you're about to die, it keeps you from dying. Oh, well, that worked out good. I'm glad I made him a 5-2. Went for the attack, because now you can just kill that. Huh, actually, that's considered a beast. Take a walk in the wild side. Which means I can do that. To keep him alive. Awesome. He won't die. Barely. But hey, good enough. And then we'll play the piloted sky goal. That's pretty good. My deck looks good. For all I know, they've got a flame strike in their hand. That's. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so like I was saying, <laughs> they've got something in their hand that's going to blast my deck. Because, I mean, everything's two health. So if I play something that's really powerful, it'll just kill all those weak guys I've got. Like, they're all high on attack damage, but they don't have any what health. To do. What to do. Well, must not have a cheap cheap blizzard or a... I'm pretty much just worried about a blizzard or a flame strike. Even though I haven't noticed if spells have been cheaper. Maybe it's only minions that are cheap, that are random. Like this armor plating, I wonder if it's going to change. I've got two of them, I guess we'll see if it changes mana cost. Oh, gave up. Must not have anything to deal with that. Could have at least used their hero power to get rid of that 7 attack minion, though. I could have done about 17 points of damage that turn, but... Alright, we're going to try one more. We'll play as... Let's try Paladin, because that's what I play most of the time. Um, but we'll try one more. It'll probably be the last one, because this is... I don't know, so far this isn't my favorite one. This one's just a little too random. Like, I don't mind some randomness, but this one's just... Like, I don't feel like I'm winning because of any skill on my part. I just... Yeah, what's happening is happening without any uh, control over... I don't have any control over it. Well, I might as well get rid of these one ones and see if I get something expensive that I might get for cheap. Hmm. Two of those Cobalt Guardians. Interesting. But, I mean, I guess expensive means they're kind of nice to have in your hand because they could go down to a one cost or a two cost and then you could play them.
Okay, he only costs a two, and he's a six three. Hmm. Or I could play him, and he's a two two. Let's play him. Because he can at least survive one attack. Well, I guess he can't survive one attack if they use their hero power, but hey. Silence a minion. That's always nice. That one's good if I had other dragons. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do is use their hero power just to kill him. Oh well. Oh well. So for two, we might as well just. I'll just play him. There's no one I can give. give a uh, shield to, but. How many spells on my deck? So he's not as good with his. Summon a random one cost me for your opponent. Whenever a Murloc is summoned, gain one attack. Um, next, the next dragon play costs two less. I don't have it. I guess we'll just do that. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so random. I could have played the spellbreaker. I thought about doing that to remove the the harpy's uh, wind fury, but I don't. I don't know. What's he has to do? Whenever you cast a spell out of oh, nah, I've seen that one before. That one's terrible. I I do not like that one. <laughs> he just let's. Oh. I've seen videos before of people with Antonitis and they just like sit there and just chain fireballs like fireball, fireball, fireball. Especially there was one, I can't remember what it was now. I don't remember what it was, but it was something that was making the spells cost. Well, that's what it was. Somebody played Millhouse Mana Storm and his opponent played that and then all the fireballs were free. So they kept they'd cast a fireball, and because that's a spell, they'd get another fireball. And they kept doing it until the guy was dead. Yeah, that was that was ugly. <laughs> I don't even know what I should do. Let's silence. Let's silence Antonitis because he's annoying. Okay, that's a useless card, but I don't know. At the moment, I don't feel like I'm. I don't feel like I'm doing so well. So they can just kill that dragon with their hero power. And then just about everybody can kill that spellbreaker, and that, that Murloc's useless. Like, I don't know why he's in my... I have no idea why he's in this deck. <laughs> yeah, I guess because all the cards are random, it means you can get cards that just don't play well together. Like, the dragon would be good if I had other dragons, but I haven't seen another one. The Murloc would be good if I had other Murlocs, but I haven't seen any. No, so I'm pretty much dead. Oh, he's got a fireball. That's right, from Antonitis. Oh, and I'm dead. And the RNG pretty much just killed us there. There wasn't really much we could do about that. Yeah, so, eh, this one's okay. Like, you don't really get much of a feeling that you won or that you lost the game. You just kind of... Yeah, the cards fall, they fall, and you win or lose based on it. So, hey, let's open our pack we won and see if we get anything good. Pretty much don't get legendaries, so maybe I'll get lucky this time. No. Ugh. Get a Keeper of the Grove rare, and I got the one rare that every pack's guaranteed to have. I almost never get epics or legendaries. <laughs> Ugh. A usual pack for me. I got a Silver Moon Guardian, Naturalize, Leprechaun, and Earthshock. So, yeah, nothing, nothing special. 
Oh well, maybe next time. Um, so that was an interesting tavern brawl, not one of my favorites. Hopefully next week will be a little better. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll uh, come back next time.